I'm Tony Plahetsky with the Austin American Statesman and KVU, and I'm joined by KVU meteorologist Hunter Williams. Hunter, I know that you all have been forecasting for several days now a significant winter event uh, coming to Texas and Central Texas later this week, but I wanted to talk about how what is forecast to happen here in 2022 really does differ than what happened last year. Can you just talk about how atmospherically and meteorolo meteorologically things are different this year? Yeah, Tony, we want to make this super clear to everybody that this is not going to be anything like what we saw February last year. And there's several key differences here. And I think the most jarring one to me is the duration of the cold weather. So look, it's going to get cold with this system. But remember, back in February of 2021, Austin Camp Mabry, that's the main reporting site that we use here in Austin, was at or below freezing for 144 straight hours. So that was the record. That's what, about six days of temperatures at or below freezing. This year, the event is not going to be anything like that. We'll drop below freezing uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Thursday will probably stay below freezing. But altogether, we're probably talking 24 to 48 hours of temperatures at or below freezing. So that's a huge difference as far as duration of the cold. And then within that, the magnitude of the cold is going to be way different too. Also get Mabry dropped down to, I believe, seven degrees on uh, one of those mornings during the cold spell last year during 2021. The coldest temperature that I have in the forecast for this event is 21 degrees. So I think everybody realizes there's a huge discrepancy between 21 degree cold, which, yeah, is very cold, but nothing compared to or eight degrees, which we saw in 2021. So then, while people's emotions and minds are obviously going back to that time, very, very different set of circumstances this year. Right. And I mean, aside from the cold weather too, Tony, the precipitation part of this forecast, drastically different. You know, within those 144 hours of temperatures that are below freezing, we had, you know, essentially, you know, three or four I have to go back and count it, you know, between three and five separate winter storms, essentially, that move through. This is going to be more of just one event, kind of a more traditional type thing that we see from time to time here in Central Texas. You know, parts of the Austin area had a half foot plus of snow back in 2021. I think we could go through this whole event this week and not really have any snow. We're talking about freezing rain and sleet, which is an entirely different thing altogether, um, with some icing that could be a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. But we're not going to have a half foot plus of snow. So it, it's close to that. Um, I just want to though, you know, real quick, Tony, this is, you know, we're going to look back to that February 2021 storm, you know, for the rest of our lives. And, you know, I think, fingers crossed, that's probably going to be something that, you know, we may only see one time in our entire lives. And, you know, we hope that's the case. So there's the storm of the lifetime, but a storm of a lifetime, but not every storm is that, obviously. Right. You know, I think we're going to look back on that February 2021 storm for probably the rest of our lives. And look, fingers crossed, I think it's entirely possible we don't see anything at all close to that for the rest of our life. And, and I hope that we don't. But there's a lot of room down below a once in a generation type storm for there to be storms that don't even compare to 2021, but are still serious and are still impactful to people. And again, I think that's kind of what we're dealing with this week. Not 2021, but this is a situation where, yeah, there could be some slick spots. There could be, you know, some icing impacts and, you know, this could affect people. Can you, Hunter, just go over the forecast for the next several days? Yeah. So as we stand right now, Tony, we have a uh, winter storm watch that's been issued. Um, we could see that upgraded potentially to a winter storm warning or potentially a winter weather advisory. But essentially the play by play is. Through Wednesday afternoon, we're going to have showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms as this Arctic front moves in. But once the front pushes through, Tony, Wednesday evening into Wednesday night, temperatures are really quickly going to plummet. And that's when Wednesday overnight into Thursday morning, I think we'll start to see that transition over to freezing rain and to sleet. And through Thursday morning, potentially even into Thursday afternoon, as things look right now, we'll probably have pretty widespread freezing rain and sleet. And uh, that could accumulate with some icing impacts of, say, a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, as it looks right now, especially across the hill country. So, you know, that's certainly enough to create some slick spots on roads, especially bridges and overpasses. And you always have to watch, you know, could that icing accumulate on tree branches, which could fall down on power lines. That's something that we'll be watching. 
And the Austin Metro in Travis County is included in that uh, winter storm watch right now, Tony. So kind of a tricky forecast, but certainly within the realm of possibility for icing impacts to be a problem for the Austin Metro. And then once the precipitation moves out by Thursday afternoon to Thursday evening, we're done with the precipitation, but it's going to get really cold for Thursday night into Friday. So we'll get a hard freeze. Austin will drop down to, you know, upper teens, low 20s well into the teens outside of the city. Um, you know, so certainly a hard freeze for Friday morning. Friday afternoon should warm above freezing. You know, it's still going to be cold, Tony, but I think we'll make it mid to upper 30s. So uh, hopefully by Friday afternoon, if we have, you know, icing impacts, hopefully getting temperatures above freezing would help to alleviate those by Friday afternoon. And then over the weekend, again, the mornings are going to be really cold, but by Sunday afternoon, I think we'll be back up around 50 degrees as things look right now. So just a good few days to kind of hunger down and 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 hang out. Right. I mean, like we were saying earlier, this is not going to be 144 consecutive hours that are below freezing, but it could be a solid 24 to 48, you know, that are below freezing, including a couple of mornings with hard freezes. So I, we've been saying it on TV. We always recommend people um, take their cold weather precautions and account for the four P's. That is people, pets, pipes and plants. Make sure you have all of that accounted for. And, you know, if you could do that. Uh, you know, by Wednesday, before it gets cold, I think that's a good course of action. And uh, yeah, just prepare for the threat for, you know, some icing impacts and it's going to get cold for a few days, but not a repeat of 2021. Hunter, thank you so much. Hunter Williams, meteorologist at KVU. Appreciate, appreciate it. it.